Hello guys, for today's video, I'm going to show you how to create panoramic images in Photoshop. It's about stitching and editing techniques. And also, we are going to dive in capturing your shots, stitching in Photoshop, and refining your panorama. So now, let's get started. So what is a panorama? Panoramas allow us to capture wide, sweeping views, and with Photoshop tools, we can stitch together multiple photos seamlessly. For the capturing of shots, begin with capturing a series of overlapping images of your scene. Actually, I have here some examples of the images that I just took on our rooftop. So I'm just going to open it for you to see some samples clearer. So ensure each shot overlaps by 20 to 30 percent to aid in stitching later. It's best to use a tripod to maintain consistency and stability. So just like here, I got this image here and look at how it connects to this. And this one is connected to this. Also, this building is connected to this. Now let's go back to Photoshop to see the stitching process. So to create a panorama with those individual images, now we're going to open file, select automate, and then click on photo merge. And this photo merge window will appear. Now we're going to select auto here in the layout, and then we're going to browse, select all of these images. Control plus A. Once we select all the images, we can now select OK. Once you're done putting all those images here, now select OK and Photoshop will automatically stitch all the images together to create a panoramic file images. Once you select OK, you have to wait because Photoshop is already in process. And while still in progress, if you find this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my video to other nerds like us. Now this takes a bit time because the process is all about aligning all the layers together for creating a panoramic image. And now it's done stitching all those images. All right, so you can see that some parts are not totally stitch, just like this one. But this one, these are two photos that were put together. This one, this is three, these are three photos. These are three photos put together. All right, but for us, we're going to choose this one instead. Okay, so I'm going to zoom this, zoom it in. Once Photoshop stitches your images, you may need to refine the panorama. Use the crop tool by just pressing C as our shortcut key to trim the uneven edges or unwanted areas. All right, so you can see that there are excess here. So let's lower this down right, and then let's compress it. All right. Now I already got this view over here. This one shows a panorama. And after that, you just have to click enter after using crop tool. And there you go. Now we just created a panorama using individual images that were put together. And that is how to create panoramic images in Photoshop. See you in the next videos, guys.